Aw, snap. We're finally taking off. That's awesome. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So, just to keep you guys on track, I actually recorded a video before this one that the file ended up being corrupted, so I ended up losing about an hour's, an hour's long footage. Uh, nothing major happened, but I did do one full complete quest and completed one quest that I already had. So, really quick to show you the uh, which one was it i think it was a few kindred spirits uh no that's not it oh fistful digits this is the one so i ended up going into the constable's office and accepted a quest from their office and ended up getting a unique weapon this one right here called blad on stick which was pretty cool uh on top of that i ended up completed a small grave matter through Conrad, essentially what I ended up doing for collateral for Conrad's uh, gravesite fees. There was a note on top of one of the tables in the back room that suggested that uh, one of the bodies he had they had buried had gold teeth. So uh, I basically uh, suggested to Conrad to offer the golden teeth as collateral for his payment, which he accepted reluctantly, but he did. Uh, and he got his whole situation, you know, rectified. So there's that. On top of that, I ended up going to the general store and I bought uh, the Maxwell, this right here, which is an improvement from hers. Uh, significantly, I did tinker it a couple times, though, I'm not going to lie. But it's a major improvement to her hammer, which is freaking awesome. And of course, I went to another YouTube video, an external source. I uh, can't remember who made the video or something, but there was like this guide. And I ended up getting this because it was kind of hard to find. I would have probably never found it. But other than that, I think we're pretty much uh, caught on. Uh, and we're ready to go. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue the gameplay. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Welcome Ada. Back, Captain. And All fly away. All systems are now operating within acceptable parameters. Yes, ma'am. Shall I take our ship into orbit? Abso-freaking-lutely. Let's get out of here. Aw, snap. We're finally taking off. That's awesome. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Hey, the guy that saved us. Or defrosted us. Or whatever you want to call it. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, hey, what's up, bro? Hale and hearty, and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Yeah. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing uh, any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I'm actually pretty fine, thank you for asking. Uh, no, I'm not gonna... I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Yeah, that's great. I have to go to Groundbreaker anyway for the companion quest. Um, let's see. Uh, why do we need a, a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed badly. And oh, almost completely lawless. You'll love it. 
<laughs> Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. That's kind of weird that a captain doesn't fly his own ship. I don't know. I, I just find that kind of weird. Uh, what's stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. Oh, okay. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Fine, I'll go have a word with Miss Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By oh. the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. What is that? Uh... You want, exactly. What do you, uh, you want to explain what a holographic shroud is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Oh, that's it interesting. First generation technology, you see, but promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. That's actually pretty cool. You mentioned this thing has limitations? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. So essentially, I'm supposed to just Best stand still. used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Okay, um... Why do I need a gadget like this? Couldn't I just steal a uniform or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brainless <laughs> guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? Hey, you never the know. The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. That's interesting. How the hell does a hologram, quote-unquote, sweeten your breath? Science, that's how. Wow, that's a... That's a great explanation there, bruh. I'll put it to good use. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Ooh. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Uh, got it. Where's the destination terminal? Is this it? Oh, yep. So we're supposed to go to Groundbreaker. Where's that? Is it on? Do I just go to Monarch? He did say it's on Monarch, I believe. Oh, look, I can go to Phineas's lab. Oh, Groundbreaker, right here. Right? But isn't that where I'm at? Uh, you can select plan and guide and track it. Well, for now, let's go ahead and go to the captain's quarters. I don't know where the captain's quarters is. So I have to find it. Oh, look, it's uh my com my beautiful little companion. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. Oh, cool. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? It's alright. Uh, did you learn your trade from your father? 
It sounded like it were okay. Yep. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Uh, I don't really see the humor, actually. He meant funny as in odd. Ah, uh, gotcha. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. Similar to when Fallout. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. So is vault a part of one of, like, the organizations in this world? Hmm, interesting. A lot of similarities. Uh, but you, but you're actually good and, and you enjoy it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Uh, after school, you moved straight back to Edgewater? Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed nice. straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Aw. Did you get much time with him after you got back from school? About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad Sounds never terrible. said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Aw, oh, she broke my heart, man. So, anyways, uh, let's change the subject then. I can tell it's making you uncomfortable, sweetie. So, uh, what do you think of the ship? That's in pretty good shape, considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120. A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space, but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's <laughs> board-certified mechanic. Wow, that was... <laughs> I wasn't expecting Ada to give her two cents on the situation, but okay. That's the ship's computer. It's not intelligent, but it does go a good imitation. <laughs> Apparently, Ada's the only one who actually flies the ship. Fly-by-wire's pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. <laughs> Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it. You're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. That's that's pretty amazing technology, man. I'm not gonna lie. So what do you think, Parvati? Is it safe to fly now that we have uh, that we have a regulator? I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I think it's time. Uh... Nope. Let's go. I got to find uh, the captain's quarters. Looks like there's a marker on it. So it makes it easy for me. Awesome. The holographic shroud. The hol uh, holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limit to unauthorized personnel and otherwise otherwise result in being attacked on site. Well, that's amazing. Wait, hold on. Is this our storage container? Okay, so R Why isn't it transferring? Okay, there we go. So, because I do want to put in my legendaries that I'm not going to be using. So, you can go in there and you can go in there. 
Armor, I do want to keep, obviously, Parvati stuff. Because if you noticed, I actually kept... Um, I actually kept... Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having like a brain fart. Oh, yeah. Uh, I actually put on her science, or a little tech outfit on her, on Parvati. So, she... Is better protected when we're out and about. All right, so let's go ahead and we're supposed to go to Groundbreaker, right? So why isn't it letting me go to Groundbreaker? Select a destination on Groundbreaker. Oh, okay, that I'll oh, get it. Let's go. Destination reached the Groundbreaker. Awesome sauce. Can we talk? Yeah, sure, of course. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Uh, never heard of her, but what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yeah, no, of course. We'll, we'll definitely go. Sure, we could head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Let's see. No, uh, let's go. First things first. Let's see if we can actually take Mac. Uh, what's his name? Max. Vic, the vicar. What the hell is this? There's no response for the serial number. Of okay. I think that's like a janitor or something. There he is. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Absolutely something not. Something vexing you, Captain? Can you come with me? You're out of my crew. I want you off this ship. That's insane. I can just kick him off. Uh... Let's talk about this personal quest of yours. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? Uh, that's that's the plan. By Verity, what? I don't think I could take him with me. All right, fuck it, let's go. This is actually wait are. So, is this the, oh, wait a minute. I think this guy might be a companion. Because it looks like these are all of the rooms of the people, of my companions. So, this looks like it would be Parvati's. Because, look, that's Parvati's dad, I think. Yep, Parvati's father. Okay, I get it. These are the crew's quarters. So, that's the engineer. This is the vicar. Uh, Probably one that, I, uh, obviously... These uh, other three are ones that I haven't discovered yet. I want Ellie, man. I've been wanting to freaking play with Ellie ever since I saw the, like the trailers and stuff. So let's go ahead and get off. Hopefully we find her here. Oh, cool. What is this? Select two companions? Okay, so there's a little dot that appears if you're taking them. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, dude, look, we actually do have him. Hey, we need Captain. to get him an I'm outfit. Six. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Yeah. Where are we uh, headed? No, you're not going back to the ship, homegirl. You're staying with me. We also need to get him a what? Let me see what weapons he has. Vicar Max. He's got a sawed-off shotgun, okay, and a stick. Hopefully we can find legendary versions of those. I know Parvati had a pistol, so hopefully we can find her a better pistol so point. that I can... The attack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. Dude, I love there that outfit. No witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get to with me again, you little back brat. I will toss you out of there. 
This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You what ain't is going on? Here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Sounds like this dude is a problem starter. What's Go wrong with you? Stroll around the docking base? Of course. I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Nice. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Oh, he's a fighter. I'd like to hear your side. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well... Former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Absolutely. Wait a minute, is he a... Is he a companion? That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I never caught your name. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, Felix. See you around, boss. Uh, I guess he's not. Going for a stroll around the docking base? That sucks. I want Ellie, though. I need to figure out... How Customs I can get her. Right this way. What's up, bro? Can I come in? Identification, please. These are not the drones you're looking for. Uh, here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Very nice. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. <laughs> well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. What did I do? Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Uh, how do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. So shoot him in the face. Exactly. Okay, got it. Any idea of why my ship was impounded exactly? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Why? I mean, so far, I've been on their good side. Great. I'll talk to him. Yeah. Straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Nope. Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Well, that's a... A little intense. What's what, uh, her shipment? A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Yeah, Sam is the name of the robot that was in the thing. And he's a cleaning unit, apparently. So he's, a, he's like a janitor. He's a ship's janitor. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Absolutely not. I'll be on my way. Think, wait a minute. Wait. I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Offense. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Awesome sauce. Make sure you bring an empty belly. I'm taking. I take it she wants to feed me. Uh, we're gonna drop a. We're gonna find a job around here. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. 
Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. It blows me away how much dialogue is in this game. That's a good thing. Uh, I'm looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. <laughs> Got it, thanks. Happy to help. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. Can we move this along? I have a certain uh, matter I'd like to attend to, Captain. So I got two people that have things going on here. And you need to chill the hell out for a second there, bruh. You wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. How does Halcyon's holding, holdings work anyway? Are you pulling my leg? Uh, I'm new around here. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Yeah, you well, can say something like that. I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing... The powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Well, okay. The Board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Wow. How does the Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before, her sister ship, the Hope. Uh-oh. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. So they're actually a there's actually a boardroom where everyone basically okay whatever sitting around <laughs> drinking whiskey and smoking cigars yeah probably can't say for sure of course doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself oh I will got it thanks glad to help uh, I didn't think there were many ind independent operators in the system relative to the board holdings not really but there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you know about the sublight salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. Dun dun dun. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. That's all I need. Thank you. All right. Uh, looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. He's a good guy. What can you tell me about Udom Bedford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Got it. Found uh, the name of one of the uh, board members. Sounds like a fun guy. Really likes his cereals, too. Maybe a little <laughs> too much. Bit of a weird bird, all told. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. They're fun. Udom takes it to an... Uh, unhealthy level seems like there's some tension between the board and groundbreaker you noticed huh uh i'm kind of sharp like that very astute what can i say we're passionate folks and the board can't abide that independent spirit especially not when it might impact their bottom line all their interstellar freighters come through us and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. 
Very nice. Why can't Grandpa uh, Breaker and the board just work together? You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks. And we sure as shit ain't about to do that. That independent spirit. I'm glad that terrifies uh, them. The bastards. Oh, wait. I'm... <laughs> Man, I can't even read. I'm glad that terrifies them, the bastards. Keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? I mean, the board is now. necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Thanks for the info. Sure thing. See you around. Be seeing you. I'm kind of curious about Vic, the vicar, man. He kind of seems like... Like he's for the board. But at the same time, he's not. A quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate this is it. security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chip I mean the scholar shipped in and out with. Oh snap. So I have to go in here. But I don't want to go in there just yet. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. Maybe a super mutant? You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Graham. <laughs> Alrighty. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind All right. spacers and other travelers. So what, the place we need to go is right on the other side of here, but we ended up going into the it's like sleeping quarters or something. How do I go over there? Is this a door? Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. I like it already. That looks amazing. Didn't we have a mission in the medical bay? We had a mission in the medical bay and in the science lab. Let's let's go to the science lab really quick since that's the only place I remember being. Waste disposal. Are you listening to me, Emperor? What are they arguing about? Oh, look at that hat. Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. <laughs> of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. I like his hat. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. He's so monotone and boring. Let's see what you got for sale. Yeah, have a look. A lot of food, it looks like. Okay, I'm going to take this one by one. He doesn't have any legendaries or a unique guy. Oh, I can buy the hat. I'm, I'm buying it. Hey, I don't have that hat. I have that one and that one. Is this a heavy hat? That's a light hat. Hold on, let me see. What do I have on? Oh, I can't even check. All right, you know, oh, wait, hold on. Can I? No, wait, uh, sell. 
I have a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of. Alright, forget it. I'm pretty sure I don't have this. So I'm gonna buy it. And I'm gonna buy one of these. Let's go ahead and put that on. I want... Watch me already have that one. No, I don't. There we go. That looks better. All right, let's go into the medical bay. Out of there. It's Ellie. Please don't make a scene, Doctor Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Talk to me. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? She looks like Scarlett Johansson, doesn't she? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Uh, what is this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Uh, maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. I'm so doing that mission first. I want Ellie so bad. Companion quest. They have a lot. So, Ellie. Okay. This is the one. So, where do I have to go? Let's see. Check it out. Map. Oh, it looks like it's right over here, actually. How do I get there? Restricted access? How am I supposed to get in there? I must get Ellie. Or maybe it's outside. I don't know. Pa uh, potentially. Sublight salvage. No. Their front looks surprisingly on the up and up. We reckon we can shop here, or is it all spoke for? Uh, I'm not sure. Engineering. That's where Parvati wanted to go. All right, where's this person? What was this person's name again? Those XF four elevens and an old Yakita three seven. You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Probably not. Engineer, is this her? Good law, but he's in here is so unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. Junle better hurry up with those damn repairs already. It was Junle, right? Let me see. Military service was not guaranteed. Why can't I get into my menu? Let me see. Where is? Is this it? Watch out! Something doesn't explode in your face. No. That's sealed. These are just all engineers. Oh, it's probably this person right here. Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but there she's to she my is. Friend. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh, nice place you got here, Chief. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Uh, I'll do whatever I can to help keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Uh, just passing through. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, once I get out of this impound, I'm bound to Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Very nice. Parvati, you wanted to talk to Junle? Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with... Actual, real spaceships, Miss Junle. Uh, uh, Chief Junle. Junle is fine. <laughs> uh, 
Go ahead. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Hell yeah. Got her a, co a connect. Uh, I don't want to embarrass her by saying this, so... Silently encourage Parvati. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. <laughs> oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. She's pretty scatterbrained. It's kind of cute, actually. Nice job, Parvati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Got you. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. No worries. Uh, it's it seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts. Of course. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Uh, is there room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Uh, you need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Very nice, I got another job. The back base? Am I supposed to know where that is? Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. <laughs> I'll get you those parts from the back base. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Very nice. Awesome. I can't go into my menu for some reason. And I need to level up. And for some reason I can't. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just can't do it inside a building. So I have two level ups. That's something that happened in the corrupt video that I was telling you guys about. Uh, I actually leveled up one time, but I forgot to do it then. So let's go ahead and put this into dialogue. We gotta. Let's just put everything to dialogue, actually. That way we can start getting a bunch of these things. Speech things or whatever. Alright, let's see. What can I do? High maintenance. So I want... If anything, I want to put uh, everything into like defense. And then I want to boost up my companions. Make them stronger. Let me see. Pack mule. This would be interesting, actually. No. The negotiator. This would be a good one, too. No, actually. No. Let's go ahead and put it into defense. Yes. Defense. Do I get another perk? No, I got zero perks available. Okay. Wait. Does my companions have a level up? Ooh, the Vicar does. Bonus support hack, increases hack skill, okay. Sneaky. The amount of threat. Let me see. Let's let's make him a let's make him a little Actually, let's put some more health in him. Can't say no to health. I feel bad for the Vicar, too, because he's got nothing special going on. Alright, let's go. We have to figure out how to get to that one person, Jesse Doyle. Wait, maybe the elevator? Nope, that definitely goes up. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the Universal Equation, also known as the Grand Plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. <laughs> you had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. 
Awesome. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. What's wrong with his face? You one flying the unreliable? Yes, I am. Name's Captain Hawthorne. Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Do they know I'm not Hawthorne? So you're a sublight employee? Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. I should go. Toodles. Let's see what's going on here. Talk to me, lady. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Hunting? Lilia I'm not Hagen, a dog there, bro. CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come. Uh, I'm Captain Hawthorne. The proud owner of the Unreliable. A little advice. Before you start telling lies... Get a feel for who you're talking to. It's That's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. Ah, Could that's recognize why. recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Uh. I didn't kill him? I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. What's that? Just like in the serials. <laughs> you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Yeah, I don't have a nav key, but I can still take the job. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. Yes, she does. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. I take it Sublight isn't strictly a salvage operation? These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. What kind of other sectors does Sublight pursue other than the salvage uh, and shipping? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. <laughs> Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Uh, well, I mean, I can't relate, but sure, why not? So your company, so you're a company of bureaucratic par uh, pirates. I can't say that word. Your words, not mine. You're very honest about Sublight's criminal side. <laughs> hey, careful with the C word around here. I had a I feeling like that was going to happen. I above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. But you're criminal. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. So, how organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon. But I'll settle for being the most organized one. She's a mafia. Back to other questions, shall we? Ask. I have nothing to hide. Uh-huh. Toodles. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Man, I'm getting a ton of quests here. All right, let's go back down. I've seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Is Don't that a worry. store? The captain and I will take care what of it. What does that say? I need neither your advice nor your Ike's pity, armor. young lady. That they can look come like in handy. Taking their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor. Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons for those times you have to repel borders but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Uh, let me see what you got. Actually, let's go with weapons first. 
Nothing spectacular. Armor. Ooh, they have a red version of it. Blue? Ooh, that one looks cool. I think I want the blue one. Uh... I don't know which one would look better, but I can only afford one. Let's just go with that one. Crew outfit, ports call. Wow, there's a lot of cool outfits here, man. All right, let me see. Let's go ahead and go into our outfits. Where's the new one that I just got? Uh, I mean, it matches, except for the face. Yeah, except for the face. But it looks better than nothing. And blue's my favorite color, so I'm definitely going with that. Look, it's Auntie Cleo's. That would suck if I find something cool. Auntie greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen. A home-style consumable protein dispensary. Where this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Uh, let's see what you got. Beginning dispensing sequence. Even though I can't Please afford anything. Please all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. He doesn't even have anything spectacular. No, I'm good. Thanks, bro. Have you seen this man? Go back to Byzantium. Information leading to the capture of noted terrorists in his house. I've seen that man, and I know exactly where he's at too. But I'm not gonna give him up. All right, I really need to find out where this Jesse is. Wait, let me see. Maybe it says in the journal. Uh, hasn't been able to get through to Jesse, but you could try. It would be nice if I can actually talk to Jesse. If I go in there, they'll attack me, right? Let's go ahead and save just in case. Hey, you. Talk to me. Incoming. Yeah, I thought so. All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just reload a save. Maybe I can sneak there. You're sure this is perfectly safe? No, not I'd really. I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Uh, Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. Uh-oh. I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Uh, something tells me you're worried about nothing. But anyways, uh, she's worried about you. Like, a lot. No, not really. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Uh, like me. Hi. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Of course you will. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? Of course not. See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Uh... What did you do... Uh, what did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Doesn't sound like it. Yeah, you think the board has had someone follow you, and now you're hiding out. Doesn't make too much sense there, girl. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. 
In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Hey, that's my home. So, you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Wow. Okay, so Ellie asked me to help you so that... So that's the plan, so what do I do? Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to Udon for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? I say both, but I mean, tomato, tomato. Let me go ahead and save it because I have to go sneak my way back. Let's go. Hopefully we don't get caught. Fuck! Oh good. A fight. Well, let's do that again. Round two. Quiet. We made it. Woo! We did it. Let's go talk to Udom. I doubt they're gonna let me in with a gun. What's up, I'm just bruh? Gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable. Absolutely. that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? I should probably tell him the truth, man. Uh... I, I could... What? I could turn in Phineas here? No, thank you. Uh, Alex is dead, bro. Sorry. Oh, no. This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Damn, you could tell they were close. Sorry for your loss, bro. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, what was your relationship with him anyways? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship. You must know. That picture of us on the promenade. Me hugging him. Him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? I think they were uh, more than friends if you catch my drift. Uh, yep, uh, he sure did. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? You know, I just landed my little escape pod on him. Nothing, no big deal. He was eaten alive by feral canids. Uh, trust me, you don't want to know the details. I don't know if, if I... I think I'm just going to tell him, trust me. You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Again, I'm very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand, please? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, 
Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? So... So he was gonna sell out Phineas? That's... Alex never mentioned Phineas. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Uh, there is actually. Uh, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want... Uh, her he her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt. And the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? <laughs> I'm already regretting it. <laughs> uh, uh, none, I suppose. But if she doesn't show up for work... Uh, no, man. Oh, I regret this so bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with this. So she's hiding in a sick bay to avoid assassins. I'm sure she'll prefer work. You might be surprised. But we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I regret that decision, man. That's the second time I regretted my decision. Um... Nope, we're leaving. Deuces. I think I'm like... Not intentionally siding with the corporations and the board. <laughs> oh well. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Elder. Hey, what's up, girl? The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Please let Tell me get you, you as a companion. I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. I don't know if what either of those medic, means. I can work my debt off. Uh, are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Oh, you're so coming with me. Uh, Vicar Deuces, bruh. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Yay, I got Ellie! Woohoo! Alright guys, but that's gonna do it for this video. I'm actually very, very, very stoked that I finally got Ellie, dude. I've been wanting her since I saw the trailers back when the game pretty much got announced. And uh, uh, I believe it was on E3 where I saw this for the very first time and it was amazing. I wanted her for, for the longest time and I finally have her as a companion. Hopefully she doesn't disappoint, but... Well, I mean, that's that. So with that being said... If this is a series you guys are liking, definitely do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help the channel a lot. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.